Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the next few days. Next few days. Let's just see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend and caterpillar. Oh, that one fell off. It happened for a reason. Pleasure with a close friend. And then it fell off so we could see this. I didn't know that there was two. Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So that's beautiful, huh? Pleasure with a close friend. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So a change is coming. My goodness. Oh, we've had this a lot. It's been coming up a lot. 666 is actually a good number because you're breaking free from the demons. Okay, this is breaking free. It is. It's headed towards balance and harmony. Sixes represent the journey to balance and harmony. It's a time of transition, movement, getting your life back on track. So it's not a terrible number, but it is breaking free from those addictions, those toxic situations, those battles, okay, that the devil got you into. So 666, getting your life back on track. Now, this is maybe a spiritual wake-up call. Um, making choices. Unexpected choices. Choices that, you know, get your life back on track and into a more harmonious presence put it that way now sixes represent the six of cups the six of wands the six of swords the six of pentacles and the lovers so this has to do with you reap what you sow it's about receiving and getting what you put out in return It has to do with partnerships. It has to do with contracts. It has to do with forward movement. It has to do with victory. And it's game over. My stomach, I'm sorry. Oh my god, they're just a slipping. Everything is slipping. That was a big pile. We're not taking it. Oh, <laughs> I said spiritual wake up call. Spiritual awakening. That's 666, but here's the confirmation. Let's see if I can hold on to it. Hold on to him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Woo! Rejection is God's protection. If you have been rejected, it's because it was something toxic. Right? That's the devil energy. Maybe God was fighting for you. Maybe. Anyhow. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. A change is coming. What do we have for a message today? Ooh. 
Page of Pentacles reverse. Now, Page of Pentacles reverse is dropping out of a situation, not committed, not interested, um, not doing the work, maybe, not interested in the job, not interested in the commitment. This can be foolish. This can be a foolish slacker, somebody that lacks integrity. We may also have somebody here that, I mean, this can be lacking common sense. Doesn't want responsibility. Ooh. Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles, you know, I feel like there's been some sort of delay. There's been some sort of not interested, but this is building a new foundation. This is coming up with a plan, taking a slow and methodical approach, putting in effort, willing to do whatever it takes. So I feel like we have somebody here that is taking action to build security. Now, this is a worker. This is a worker. This is somebody that is very focused on security, stability, what is real. And he has a golden opportunity in his hand. He has the Ace of Pentacles. That is something solid, real, secure. That's big. It looks like it's big. Five of Swords reversed. Now, the Five of Swords reversed can be a resolution, can be a peaceful resolution. This can be choosing happiness over ego. I feel like it's definitely a time of transformation. Things are going to get better. Like that caterpillar. Things are going to get better. I feel like there's been betrayal. There's been abuse. There's been hostilities. There's been malice. There's been wanting to prove. But this is about focusing on one's own security. Mm. Something about responsibility, accepting responsibility. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a lover, somebody that is very charming, sweet, kind, compassionate, um, making some sort of move, you know, maybe approaching um, with some sort of proposal, offer, invitation. Behind it is the Page of Pentacles reverse, which is a delay. I wonder if somebody wasn't being practical or they weren't interested in something. But the Knight of Cups is somebody who listens to their intuition and acts on their feelings. So somebody's going to be acting on their intuition, acting on their feelings. Ace of Swords. This is communication. This is the truth, a new truth, a new idea, a new approach. This is the sword of power. And it is the sword that brings out truth. So there, there could be information, communication, clarity, a wake-up call. I feel like there's been somebody here that hasn't been committed. They haven't been putting in effort. Maybe they've been lazy. They've been foolish. But we may. I feel like we have a new truth and taking a new approach. Death. Now, death is change. This is interesting. I said transformation. Right here, this is transformation. A change is coming. Things will not always be this way. This is an ending, a significant ending. This can be a separation or a loss. It can be somebody leaving your life. This can be 
you know, something that ends out of nowhere, but it's an ending that leads to an instant new beginning. Endings always lead to new beginnings. So there's so I feel like there's something coming that will bring, it's a new truth, it's a new, but it's emotional, you know, because that's the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups hand. A new emotional experience, a new truth, something that, you know, is going to make you happy. But anyhow, death is change. It's profound life change. Everything changes. Somebody is approaching an ending. They are approaching an ending and, and a new beginning both at the same time. We have somebody here that has not been interested. They've been lazy, maybe procrastinating, not seeing reality, maybe not acting with integrity. But we have a, I feel like we have an awakening. That's the awakening. It is a, it is a spiritual, spiritual awakening that changes everything, okay? And this is the truth about love as well. And it's the truth about feelings and emotions, Mm. Two of Cups reversed. Now, I was going to say that is the sword that cuts at the beginning. Remember when I paused and I, and I held it back? So, there could be some cuts. Okay, we could have a separation. This is underneath the Death card. Now, right next to the Ace of Swords. So... Two of Cups, Reverse, Separation, Detachment, Argument, two people not on the same page. There could be a conversation. It could be an emotional conversation, you know, straight from the heart. This is a, con this is a conversation, you know, and it's an emotional conversation. I feel like we have somebody here who's been lacking integrity. Maybe they... We're struggling with being practical and listening and being honest and listening to their intuition and following their heart. Anyhow, the Two of Cups reverse is a detachment and it's right next to that death card. So this is like, could be the end of a partnership, the end of a contract, the end of a union, um, changes in a partnership. But it's big changes. It's not, it's a separation or a detachment, or a breakup, or something like that. Now this could be a friendship, it could be a love ship, it could be a work partnership, whatever it is. Page of Wands. Now Page of Wands is news. Like I said, endings lead to new beginnings. They always do. It's a profound life change. When something dies, and ends, you're forced to start over. Anyhow, the Page of Wands is typically good news. It's typically exciting. This is good news arriving. Could be an offer. Could be an invite. Could be somebody bursting into your life that is very well suited for you. This could be a new suitor. This could be a new direction. This is something to, uh, this is something you want to tell everybody about by the looks of things. This person is shouting. It's like, everybody hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So somebody's got something to say. We have an ending. We do have an ending right before that. Things are going to get better. This is actually very, very exciting. I feel like there's a proposal or an offer or an invite or something approaching that is, I feel like it's life changing and it's exciting. It does come after the end of a partnership or contract or union. There could certainly be a rejection. Maybe there has been. Maybe there is one right now. Maybe it's because somebody is see, has some sort of awakening. You know, that's the Ace of Swords. They get some sort of spiritual awakening. They get some sort of idea or, you know, they see something differently. You know, and I do see an expression of feelings and acting on feelings and following the heart. 
And you gotta follow the heart even if even if it hurts, right? Pleasure with a close friend. Things will not always be this way. There's an offer, an invite, or a proposal here. This may help somebody to break free. This could be unexpected help arriving or something happen happening unexpectedly. I feel whatever this is, this is an opportunity to break free from something that has gone, well, that is a dead end. Breaking free from the cocoon, huh? Ooh, Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords is typically abuse, manipulation. Betrayal. Conflict. But like I said, game over. Game over. Right underneath that death card as well. The end of some sort of battle. Ego. Ego. This has to do with ego. It has to do with wanting to win at all costs. There's been some sort of abuse. Mental, verbal, physical, whatever it is. And I feel like we have somebody here that's at a point. It's like, i got to do what's right for me. Five of Cups reverse. Now, Five of Cups reverse is could definitely be something getting better. Um, the end of waiting, clinging to the past. Somebody's been clinging to some sort of emotional pain from the past. They've maybe maybe it's been a period of prolonged grief or something like that. Avoiding, avoiding, avoiding change. Resisting. Seeing something. Somebody is seeing something that they didn't see before. They didn't see it. They're seeing it now. There's been manipulation, there's been abuse, there's been emotional, what's emotional manipulation, and somebody has has not seen it. But now they've been focusing on a loss, maybe trying to prove themselves, trying to win, maybe because of, that's the rejection part. People, their ego can't accept rejection. Ego cannot accept rejection. Ego wants to fight. I feel like we have focusing on the future. This is really good news. It's really good news. I feel like somebody's done a lot of healing from abuse. And it's time for a change. It's time to go on a new adventure. It's time to go in a new direction. I mean, it looks it looks like we have somebody here that has had a, a significant loss or a separation, or they're having one now. You may have somebody that's taking a new approach to love and romance. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I feel like we have somebody here that wasn't interested, that is seeing something. They received some sort of clarity. Now, I mean, the Knight of Cups is typically somebody looking for love. Love. Not something that isn't real. Anyhow, around the corner is the Page of Wands, which is an offer or an invite or good news. There could be somebody that's bursting into your world. Um, this is life changing, whatever it is. There's an, in this, whether this is whatever it is, there's some sort of life change here. The future. This has to do with the future, and it can help you to break free from. So, and maybe this is emotional baggage as well. And I don't need the Ten of Wands here. Pleasure with a close friend. Things will not always be this way. It's time to break free from your cocoon. It's time to fly, shine. It's a time of transformation. You know, caterpillars turn into butterflies, and butterflies represent transformation as well. 
So uh, this is definitely beautiful. It's a beautiful change. It's a beautiful transformation. Um, the future, this is focusing on the future and this is exciting. So I feel like we have somebody here that is uh, maybe taking a risk. Um, so yeah, I think there's a message here. I mean, there could be a message that is coming or information that is coming or news that... could bring some sort of excitement. Good luck. 